Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back with another daily update video. It is Wednesday, middle of the trading week, and let's get right into it because there was some breaking news today. Looking at the heat map, you can see we looks like we had an overall good day. It was pretty green, but big tech, Google, Facebook, Amazon, pretty much flat. AMD also flat. Micron, Micron got crushed today. They had their earnings last night. They did beat their earnings. Micron just sold off hard, down almost 7.4%. It was trading in the 49s early in the morning, and look where it is now, just under $47. Nvidia had a decent day, up 2.3%. But let's get right into it, because you know I have some plays on on AMD and space. So let's take a look at AMD right now. Really choppy day in the market for AMD. I mean, we sold off, and I was kind of happy that we sold off early in the morning, because I have a covered call, actually I have two covered calls on AMD at the 85 strike that expired this Friday. And I do want them to expire worthless. I don't want my shares to get called away until next week. Because next Thursday, October 8th, is when AMD reveals their new Zen 3 chipset. So I'm really hoping that it's a banger and that AMD just takes off to the moon. And I can sell off my shares for a lot of stock appreciation and hopefully a little bit of premium as well. But I want my shares to stay this week. So I don't want AMD to hit 85 or above because I want to hold on to those shares. But I don't want it to go too low. So I would love for AMD to close Friday at around 83, 84. So I can sell another 85 call for the following Friday, collect a good chunk of premium, and also hopefully get my shares called away. But like I said, choppy day in AMD. We closed, I should say we started the day in the red. Within the first 20 minutes, we were down over a percent, rallied back up hard to up almost 0.7%. Choppy day again, went to the red, rallied back, dipped, rallied back, dipped all the way down to zero basically rallied back and then right around 2 to 30 is when news broke that the stimulus bill was not going to get passed that the two parties are too far apart and at that point the market just sold off pretty hard i mean like i said you can see even during power hour at 3 25 p.m amd was actually in the red it was down again 0.2 percent but before the market could close it rallied hard up to about positive 0.6 percent sold off a little bit right before the market closed and you can see after hours, we're trading at pretty much flat. I mean, we're up 0.2% right now, which is overall great for me because that means time or theta decay just ate away at my premiums. So if I really wanted to, I could probably close out these positions tomorrow if I don't want to risk AMD getting called away. We'll have to see what happens overnight and how the market opens. If we open up red, then I would make even more premium selling at that point. Or if we open up red, I could still let them ride for another day or two, hopefully. But let's just see. So I have covered calls that I sold on AMD that expired this Friday, October 2nd, at the 85 strike. I sold them for $41 a piece, and I sold two of them. Right now, they're only worth $29. So I'm already profitable by $12 per contract times two. So I'm already up $24 right now on my two contracts, which is not bad. I mean, any profit is profit, right? So if I really wanted to, if I really didn't want to risk it, I could just sell these things off tomorrow at market open, and then I'm guaranteed to not have my shares called away. And then if I really wanted to, I could just sell my covered calls for the following Friday right afterwards. Because right now, if I were to sell the same 85 strike call for the following Friday, I would collect $156 in premium per contract, which is actually really good. $156 in premium divided by 8,500 in capital, which is what an 85 strike would be. Well, not 85 strike. I should say I got to sign my shares at $85 per share. It would be a... 1.8% return on my capital in about a week and a half, which is not bad at all. Not bad at all. So that is a possibility. We'll have to see how AMD opens up tomorrow. I'm really hoping it stays flat or even is a little bit red tomorrow. And then I could collect more theta decay and then decide Friday to what I want to do. But let's just take a look at the trading view chart here on AMD. So interesting, right? Because we're now looks like yesterday we rose up in share price all the way up to about $81 and some change. So that means we broke above the 21 day moving average, which is the orange line, and also this area of resistance at about $80. So really today was the key, meaning could we confirm that or were we going to sell off back below this area of what was initially resistance, but now is support. And it looks like we are. It looks like the intraday wick basically got down this far, but we closed today in between this trading range at, like I said, $81.99. So that tells me that right now, looks like AMD is going to trade between about $80 and some change and about $83 and some change. 
So still good for me. I mean, I'm, I'm going to get worried if we break above 83. We tried today. You can see this intraday wick got pretty close. It was really close to $83, but we couldn't quite break that level, which I was happy about. So hopefully we stay trading below 83 until Monday. And then, then I will sell more cover calls for a good premium. But so far, I think my technical analysis on AMD has been holding up so far. Now let's just get right into it. My other play that I have on is on Space and Virgin Galactic. So Space did not have a good day today, which was good for me actually, because it was red pretty much all day long. I mean, we closed the day down 5.9%. We're rallying a little bit after hours, but we basically are down to sub $20, which is great because I have two covered calls that I sold on Space, one at the $20 strike and one at $20.50. So similar situation, I'm kind of hoping that Virgin Galactic stays just under $20 so I can sell some more covered calls next week at 20 or 20.5 or maybe even 21 because two analysts upgraded Virgin Galactic to a buy rating yesterday. And yesterday, if you take a look at the weekly chart, see it just took off like a rocket and it was up about 25%. Actually, I should say on Monday because yesterday was the 29th. On the 28th is when the analysts upgraded it to a buy rating. And then yesterday we were up a little bit green as well, but today we sold off a little bit, which was great because I would love to be able to sell more covered calls next week and get my shares called away the following week. So we'll have to see what happens. Again, let's just take a look at the daily chart here. We sold off all day long. Let's take a look at the options chain, selling covered calls. So these are for this Friday, October 2nd, so two more trading days. I'm actually already profitable on them. I was able to sell the 20 strike covered call for $100 in premium. So $100 minus 24 is what they're trading at right now. I could sell this. I could close out my position tomorrow, buy it back and earn $76 in premium for that contract. And then my $20.50 strike, I sold for $80 in premium. So I'm already profitable on that by also $62. So I could also close that position out by buying it back and not have to worry about my shares getting called away. So we'll have to see again, same situation with space. It's kind of nice that I'm basically playing AMD and space in the same ways this week. So there's less things for me to keep track of basically, but both plays, I want them to trade flat for the rest of the week so that the following week I can sell a covered call. I mean, if we take a look for the following Friday, October 9th, right now, let's say I closed out my position tomorrow morning and sold uh, the same covered calls. I could get $69 in premium for the 20 strike and 57 for the 20 50 which is actually not that great because I was able to get $180 for this one. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm not quite sure why the premiums are less right now. It's probably because the Vega or the implied volatility on space has gone down a little bit. But if you missed it today, like I said, the stimulus bill kind of broke news by not passing. So I'm wondering if now we're gonna have a lot more fear in the market, which means higher VIX, which means overall higher premiums. So it might be better off if I wait especially if we have a red day either tomorrow or Friday over on the market. But let's take a look at the trading view chart here. So looking at space, Virgin Galactic. Again, looks like my technical analysis has been holding up right now because so we gapped up and the real question was now, are we going to stay in this area? Because we gapped up, we broke above the 21 day moving average. We broke above this area of resistance at about $18 and we broke above the 50 day moving average at about $19. So yesterday we sold off, not by much, but we bounced off this area of resistance at about $20.60, let's say. And then today, again, we tried. You see this intraday wick got a little bit above that area of resistance, but promptly came back down. So again, we closed the day at $19.23 right here. And as again, you can see, we bounced right off the 50-day moving average intraday. So it looks like right now, Virgin Galactic is going to trade between about let's say $18, like high $18, let's say $18.90 or $19 just to keep it in a round number and about $20. So I really think that it's gonna trade in this $1 wide range until it breaks to the upside or to the downside depending on what happens in the market. You know, the analyst rating said that they set a price target of $35 for Virgin Galactic. I mean, we haven't seen a price level of $35 since all the way back in February and that was kind of pre-illness. So that's a very high rating. I mean, our most recent high was back on July 23rd and that was about $27 and some change, $27.50. So we'll have to wait and see if it is gonna to break to the upside. I think if we have our overall red day in the market or if a stimulus bill doesn't pass, 
I think we're going to break to the downside actually. And I think this gap is going to get filled eventually because there's a gap right now between about $16.50 and about $18. I personally think that we're going to sell off now slowly day by day and then we're going to fill this gap again and I think Virgin Galactic is again going to trade into like 16, 17, 18 dollar range. So that's why, you know, if I do want to take a gamble, it wouldn't be the end of the world if my shares get called away this week, but I would love to squeeze out a little bit more premium because since I was able to collect about on average $90 in premium between my two covered calls, that means I've reduced my cost basis by about 90 cents which is roughly a dollar. So that means my cost basis, if both of my contracts expire worthless this week, is gonna be in the high $16, which is not bad. So even if we get to like 15, 16, 17, I've reduced my cost basis so much that I'm overall gonna break even or be a little bit profitable still. So I think I can afford a little bit of a gamble, but we'll have to wait and see how tomorrow plays out. That's basically my trading day for today. I didn't open any new positions, just kind of watched the market, see what it was doing and kind of formulated what my plans were for the rest of the week. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and happy trading.